today we're going to look at how to correctly install the Knauf Giffer FHB dry screed board. The Giffer FHB system will be installed over a generic cradle and batten system. Giffer FHB is a high density gypsum fibre board at 1,500 to 1,600 kilograms per meter cubed. This high density means that this board has structural spanning capabilities, which means it can be installed directly over joists, battens and pedestals without the requirement for a supporting layer. They can also be laid over an existing solid subfloor in a floating construction over thermal insulation and underfloor heating with a low thermal resistance and high thermal conductivity, and when used in conjunction with underfloor heating, this board will assist in reducing energy consumption and improving the system response time. See how thin these boards are, typically 18 millimeters, but up to a thickness of 38 millimeters. Compare that to traditional screeds, which are normally 40 millimeters to 75 millimeters, depending upon application. This saves them floor to ceiling heights, and are particularly well suited for retrofits, refurbishment projects, as well as new builds. The thinness of the boards also translates into lightness. With this board being as little as 25% the weight of more traditional systems. Floor loadings can be a particular issue, especially on refurbishment projects, and major weight savings can be achieved when Knauf dry screen board is utilized within the construction. The potential for savings on a new build project can also be substantial if Knaf dry screed floorboard is specified at the design stage. Lighter floor loading requirements can be translated into less substantial concrete or steel substructures and reduced foundations, thus conserving valuable resources. To install, prepare your area, ensure it's clean and dry. Install the cradle and batten system. Check that that is level. Use packers to help if required. Measure your area and cut your boards to size. Ensure canal floor and edge strips are correctly installed to address expansion, movement, and combat flanking sound transmission. The edge detail is a standard tongue groove and requires adhesive to fix only. Apply canal Giffer Bond blue single layer joint adhesive to the tongue groove joint. The blue tint is to allow easy confirmation that the correct adhesive has been utilized and that you are complying with the specification. Once the adhesive has been applied, offer up the next board. Ensure the tongue groove joint is closed. Repeat the process, staggering the joints. Once the area is complete and after 24 hours, the boards are able to accept foot traffic from follow-on trades, installation of floor finishes and commencement of commissioning of underfloor heating systems, all substantially faster than traditional floor screeds, which can take anything from 24 to 48 hours to five to seven days and require drying conditions of 20 degrees Celsius and 65 RH. Overall drying is also a consideration as traditional screed systems dry at approximately one millimeters per day. As you can see, it's an easy installation process which allows for plan points for completion at the end of each day and to avoid interface issues with other trades, etc. No water is required for the installation and we know how difficult that can be to get, particularly on high-rise projects and no additional moisture is being added to the fabric of the building due to this process. So for when cutting canal dry screed boards, we recommend the use of a PCD blade. We've got four cutting points and PCD is polycrystalline diamond, so it's a very hard cutting blade. If you use a traditional blade, it will go blunt very, very quickly. For when cutting canal dry screed floorboards, we recommend the use of a Class M extraction unit and full PPE. To install, prepare your area. Ensure the cradle and battens are level, cut the boards to size, add the adhesive to the tongue and groove, and secure in place. Repeat until the area is covered. Leave for 24 hours. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information, please visit us at canalf.co.uk.